I'm here at Oxford University in Britain. I come here every summer. I've done it for the last six years to attend summer school so I can actually learn something and then I can pass that on to you. For the last six years I've been studying modern European history and this year we're doing Napoleon. And as it turns out, Napoleon actually has a great deal to say about uh, iPhone, smartphone video, um, uh, mojo, uh, backpack journalism, whatever you want to call it, in a very interesting way. So let me explain. Um, Napoleon, as you're probably aware, uh, went from zero, I mean, he was born on the island of Corsica, to controlling almost all of Europe in a very short period of time. And he did this for several reasons. He was certainly a military genius, but his military genius would have meant nothing if he didn't have an army that was loyal to him. And what made the French army so loyal to him? The French army under Napoleon was different from every other army that had ever existed before in all of the history, and certainly any armies in Europe. Up until Napoleon, every army in the world was professional soldiers. They were mercenaries, they were paid, they were hired, they spent their lives in the military. It was their job. And of course, mercenaries, they do it for pay. And as mercenaries always say, run away, live to get paid another day. What Napoleon introduced was the idea of a conscription or a draft. Now, of course, in Vietnam that was not particularly popular, but the French army under Napoleon, the Grande Armée, was the first army in the world that was ever made up of the citizens and the peasantry of France, or the citizens of the country that was going to war. So the people who went to battle for Napoleon had an emotional connection to the battles that they were fighting. They weren't just paid mercenaries designed to march around and do what they were told. They really emotionally believed in what they were doing. Also, because France, France had the largest population in the world, he was able to raise enormous armies. When he went and invaded Russia, he had 600,000 men or so with him, which was absolutely enormous in a time when most armies were 30 or 40,000 professionals. Now, what the hell does this have to do with iPhones and smartphones? It's a good question. Up until now, all television, all television programs have been made by essentially mercenaries. That is production companies. They are hired, paid professionals who get paid to make a show. Some producer has an idea or some network has an idea and they go and they make a show. And it's fine. And this is the way television has always worked. So if, you, if you're a production company, you make a food channel show and you make a travel channel show and you make a National Geographic show and you simply make the show the way you know, the way the producer wants the show made. You have no personal passion for it. You have no connection to it. It's just what you do. And that's the way television has always been made, by paid professionals. The advent of smartphones and iPhones and Mojo and whatever you want to call it changes the potential, not the way, but the potential that television, particularly journalism, could be because now everybody has a camera like everybody had a gun. So everybody has a camera and now for the first time we can create armies of content creators who have a personal passion and a deep belief in the product that they're making as opposed to being hired, profesh, hired professionals the way production companies are or the way mercenaries are for armies. And if we can do for television and news and journalism and production what Napoleon did for fighting wars, we can also conquer the world the way Napoleon conquered Europe. The reason is that if you make your own thing with your own phone, you have a personal passion for what you're making. You believe in it. It gives you a sense of authorship. People who write books have a sense of authorship. They sit down and they pound out something that they actually believe in. There are some hired writers, but great novels and great books come from people who connect a personal passion with the technology. Up until now, you haven't been able to do that in television or films. You need a producer, you need a cameraman, you need a sound man, you need an editor, you need all this crap, and they live in production companies, and you go make a deal with a production company, the production company gets hired, and they manufacture the show. Now, for the very first time, we can do for television and news and journalism and video production what Napoleon did for warfare, sorry to say, and that is to engage and empower the citizenry, that's all of us, to create the content, to fight the wars, whatever war you want to fight, whether it's a political war, a social war, you want to talk about poverty, or you want to make the movie that's in your head, the dramatic fiction. Now it's your vision, your person, your purpose. 
the revolution that Napoleon brought to European warfare and conquered almost all of Europe with in a very, very short period of time, we can now do with phones. All we have to do is embrace the technology, learn how to use it properly, and then go start making your stuff. So that's the reason we built the VJ, and that's why you're here. So go do what Napoleon did, go start making your stuff, and go conquer the world, or at least whatever part of it you want to own.